process. Collaborative. Nimble. Innovative. Resourceful. Thoughtful. Creative. Human-centered. And scrappy. Scrappy. Scrappy, I like, like scrappy. that. The office and how we work can be scrappy, if you will. Let me think of recycled materials. Reusing scrap. Maybe a vacant lot that people have only seen as blight. A lot of times around shoestring budgets or working with communities that don't have a lot of money. Working with, with little, very little resources and being able to come up with a, a great product. An asset versus something that's, that's negative. And helping build capacity. To become unique to the circumstance. And connecting all those dots that people may not see connections with, suddenly now they're connected and create something that brings hopefulness and meaningfulness. And very rewarding when you see what can be done with that product. When she says scrappy, that's mm -hmm. what I think of. Every project and process is different. We don't have kind of a formula. So we certainly have an engagement process, but it's, it changes with every project, and every, every project brings a fresh process and perspective. And the innovation comes in part from having the, the time and the space to explore these projects, to be resourceful and bring in other perspectives. Mm -hmm. and talk with students and talk with community members and utilize existing and new resources and we're trying to alter practice that to me is part of the innovation one interesting tactic that i find was the detroit stories but where we went through and had a whole series of oral histories presented from detroit residents around the city on their love for the city of Detroit. We often forget the excitement and love that people have for Detroit because we are bombarded by a one-sided perception of the city. Having those stories was a wonderful way to sort of re-energize the passion. I think that's really exciting. I really like our process. And, and the fluidity and creativity that goes into just designing the process. Whether it's landscape architects, architects, urban designers, or plan planners are practicing, altering that, that process as opposed to being an alternative. And it's so exciting. It's really interesting mm -hmm. how we start the projects um, and then they just fold and develop into what they do and for the most part they always seem to come together. We are all very, very different, but our values towards this kind of work is what unites us. What we do and with the thoughtfulness that we develop that process puts a, a particular sensitivity into each project that we do, I think. One of the projects I was going to mention, the process that we took with a Mexican town burner, Bagley Vista, and throughout the process realizing that a lot of the stakeholders that we wanted to reach actually didn't feel comfortable coming to organized meetings. You know, having to respond to that and thinking of a different process to reach out to them. And when we use the notebooks in gathering places around the neighborhood to engage people that we couldn't reach through organized meetings. And I think that was very innovative, too. I would go to Cafe Con Leche to get my coffee. We went there, and Jordi would be like, are you keeping it here? Are you keeping it here? And I'd flip through the comment book and see what mm -hmm. people were saying. Mm -hmm. And so I think that was interesting that we're, while we are able to gather that information, other people are able to see what other people are saying mm -hmm. and, and can respond in that way. Like, he really enjoyed his customers being able to use it and... And so it almost felt like we were giving something to Jordy, too. So that was always nice. Tactics individually are great and wonderful, but it really meant the connection between all those tactics because that's where we were able to reach a variety of type of people that perhaps one tactic would not. The Livernoy storefront is a venue to help those conversations happen, and we're making the space for ongoing work. And I think that's where our innovation lies, isn't in the individual tactics, but how they all connect. All voices are heard and are part of the process because we use a variety of tactics. We have to be able to change kind of direction very quickly, so being flexible. It's like learning a dance. Certainly the community members teach us how to dance and <laughs> challenge us to be nimble. Learning how to be nimble has also come through the teaching. We're teaching in the center, we teach in the classroom, we teach in the studio. That keeps us nimble, it keeps us um, current, it keeps us, if you will, honest. You could argue that we sort of set up what we don't know is an asset. 
And I think that also speaks to the authenticity of our process. Mm -hmm. And that just reminds me of a poem. Somebody said it couldn't be done, but he with a chuckle replied, maybe it couldn't, but he'd be one who wouldn't say so until he tried. When we say we, we don't mean just we, the design center. We mean the we of the community, the businesses, the organizations we're working alongside, together developing the tactics and the methods. And that has grown out of this um, true collaboration. We don't have it all figured out, and we're going to work with you, and we're going to learn together as we go to address the community's needs.